Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Payne's Creek Killings. So we are still at the hospital. Uh, we have a few, a bit of unfinished business before we take off. But before we continue, uh, as some people noticed, uh, <laughs> Sophia's around. <laughs> so, yeah, um, in the last episode, uh, she f appeared uh, while I was in the backyard on the roof of the hospital. And so uh, I, if I'm smart, what I'll do is I'm going to put up a, a, a picture. Uh, it's like a zoomed in image of uh, Sophia. And uh, you can take a look at that. Basically, it was at a I, uh, the timestamp is in the comments. But anyways, uh, take it's it's really spooky. She's I don't know. She sort of scares me a little bit, but I know she's on my side. I well, I think she's on my side. Actually, I'm not sure, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> anyways, so. Uh, there's a bit of unfinished business with the hospital. And the first thing is we're going to take a look at um, the railing. So under the railing, right, we've got, uh, oh, now look at that. Oh, so I'm going to assume that's Trish. Yes, there we go. So uh, this, the thought is that that is Trish. And let's see if we can find anything else. Is there any other clues? I don't think, probably the, the police did investigate this. And I don't think there's any other bits and pieces here that, you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, she fell from up. Okay. So, I'm not seeing any, like, blood or anything like that. So, most likely that this has been combed over and there's, there's no clues or anything. But the, we know now that, uh, I, as I say, I think it's Trish that basically, the only question is, did she... Uh, did she fall or was she pushed? I don't know. It's really weird, right? So that we're going to have to find out eventually, I guess. Okay. Now, um, hmm, what do we want to do? So the next thing I have is to go inside. Uh, there is a, there's a bit of, there's like the reception. Uh, is there anything over here actually before we go inside? Uh, no. Okay. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure. I, have, I keep thinking I'm going to miss something. Okay, let's go take a look. So inside, uh, they're basically the reception. I, there's more to it. Uh, yes, there's an arrow and a second page. <laughs> so, uh, oh, yeah, Matthew Brooks visited again in December. Oh, do anybody else? Uh, no, I don't recognize any of these names. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. There we go. We got a record of it. Nice. And so d that the interesting thing is Matthew Brooks. That is that is what's really kind of interesting. Um, and I didn't. Oh, good grief! I didn't mean to do that. I keep ah. Okay, hang on. Uh, all right, and that one delete gone. Okay, now. <laughs> so there we go. So Matthew Brooks visited what three times in total? Uh, September, October, uh, and then December the 6th. Okay, okay. And then I don't recognize anybody else. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, now, there is... Uh, let me take a look. Uh, okay. I have. A, I do have a list. So, okay. That, that, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got to take a look. I got, uh, right. So, uh, right. Okay. We got to take a look at... Um, the the drawers uh, behind the register or the, the reception area. Okay, so I, I as I say, I've been I get tips for things that I miss, and this was on the list. Oh, what is okay? There was something. Hang on, hang on. There was that was weird. I uh, I could have sworn I saw a pickup thing, but uh, there it is. Yes. Okay. What is that? Is a pin of some sort. In, with a date on the back of it what okay it's i don't i don't speak latin <laughs> it's got a maple leaf is it canadian <laughs> i'm not really sure uh what is that knee hit fit i i don't speak latin so i have no idea what it says uh i'm not even gonna x something something and then on the back, of course, 1964. So w not certain exactly what the significance of this is. Um, all right, hang on, hang on. Uh, no, 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 oh, stop it. Okay, and <laughs> we've got to take a picture. Let's and then I'll see if I can get the back. And, oh, you know, this is really difficult. Okay, uh, 1964. And there we go. That's what I wanted. 
Nice. Okay, so, um, yeah, I have no idea what this is. It seems a little out of place, actually. It's a bit kind of odd, right? Like, it, we'll just have to remember. Put a pin in it. Okay, is there anything else in there that we can... Yeah, it's weird. Like, it said pick up over by the stapler, but it's not. Yeah, there's... I think the, the hit markers on this drawer are a bit funny. It's, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's see. Now, the, uh, was, what else was... There was something else. Let's take a look and see if there's anything missing. No, no, no. Mm, I, have, I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Now, the next thing is uh, on the list. Uh, we got to figure out where the... Uh, what was it? Um, uh... Uh, okay, it's the uh, emergency. Emergency room is okay. I think uh, it's a uh, four, which basically means it's at the back right corner of the hospital. Let's go take a look. Now, apparently, I missed a cart with blue drawers. Is there? Has there's no cart? And no, no, no. And hey, there it is. Wait a minute, it's open. Did I? Maybe I did hit these. Uh, nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. Ah, uh, is there? All right. So, any other carts with blue drawer <laughs> drawers? No, can't open that one. Uh, no, no carts with blue drawers. Um, hmm. Okay, I can't open that. Right, fine. Okay, nothing here. Nothing. Um, hmm. Okay. Now, uh, oh, can I open this? Hey, and nothing. <laughs> and I can't open that too. Of course, that was the same as before. Actually, I seem to remember that. Now. Okay, um, I don't, yeah, so I'm not sure, uh, I, that, that's the only cart with blue drawers. Now, the next thing, um, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. All right, so, uh, uh, exercise room, which is on the second floor, and rehab, yeah, okay, so I believe, let's see, it's up the stairs, and then, um, this, it's, it's kind of dark in here. Why is it so dark? This is kind of... Did that someone turn the light? Ah, uh, no, this is, it looks like an exercise. No, not this. Uh, why is it so dark? Oh my God, this place freaks me out. And I think here we go. Okay, apparently I missed the cupboards uh, up top. So let's take a look. Uh, what, what are the chances that we're gonna run into? Uh, no, oh, they can't open. I can't open them. Okay, so basically, yeah, that is not the, a thing. <laughs> what about this? Can I, I think that's locked, right? Yeah, all right, so. I seem to remember it being locked. Uh, all right, now, uh, what was it? Okay, right, so the next thing on the list, and oh my God, this place is spooky. Okay, the next thing in the list, we're gonna go downstairs because, oh man, uh, we, uh, there was apparently a, uh, in the backyard, now I should be able to get from to the backyard from, hang on, I'm turn around. Uh, no, this is the front. Yes, this is the front. So this is not where I want to be. And I don't think I can actually get to the front from here. So, all right. Um, where was it? Uh, I think you can get to it from a uh, door in the backyard. So let's go take a look in the backyard. And uh, there was another thing. It would had to do with in, a, in the backyard, a corner and a bench uh, with a tree. And by the way, that's where Sophia was. <laughs> Sophia, are you there? Hello, Sophia. No. Okay. So, uh, tree, bench, backyard. Uh, apparently, there was some darker dirt, and no, I don't see any there and there. I don't know. It's um. Okay. Now there's another tree and a bench over here, and I'm not. Hmm. No. All right. Uh, it's a bit of a mystery. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. All right. Maybe is it? Is there another one over? There's a tree, but no bench, and no dark dirt, and a bench with no tree. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I don't think it's down that way. Um, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, I, I can't really see. Maybe it was just a trick of the light. I, I don't know. It could have been. It's possible. But I'm not seeing anything uh, behind any of these tree and benches that... Uh, describe and of course i can't go that way right um hmm. okay well yeah <laughs> uh all right 
I think that was everything that was from the thing. There was, uh, what was it? There was the um, <clears throat> the reception desk thing over there, and then uh, the uh, emergency room, and then there was the uh, backyard corner dark bench thing, and then the registry, and I think that's it. That So, yeah, those are some of the tips that I got, basically, uh, uh, you know, stuff that I missed in the hospital. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. I suspect that there is other things in the hospital that I didn't do. But in the meantime, uh, we have other things. We have the next thing on the list. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah. OK. <laughs> so uh, the next thing, I think that what we're going to do and we're going to first take and see. No, Sophia. Oh, man, she freaks me out. OK. Um, do what? No, let's not do it here. Let's get uh, let's get on the other side of the gate first. And then. <laughs> the squeaky gate <laughs> and uh so what we need to do uh the next thing is uh we need to go and take a look at wanda's place so uh let's just uh, hang on a sec and we're gonna get the map out uh not the map no i mean we got to figure out where on the map <laughs> hang on a sec oh good okay so 43 silver lake boulevard right now and then map and uh that is we're on no we're not we're not on silver lake we're on uh that's on the other side okay um because we're at the hospital okay right so uh yeah we could take a left on yeah left and left so two lefts and then we should be able to get to silver lake so that's the plan we're heading uh yeah okay now Oh, is it just, yeah, I keep, I'm, I'm, I really am getting familiar with this town, and I, I don't know if that's a good thing. So, okay, so left, and then if we keep going, and we're going to keep, is it Sophia? Are you up? No? Okay. <laughs> I, I keep looking. Oh, the chimney pots. Yes, the chimney pots. People keep, uh, they talk about the chimney pots all the time, uh, looking like Sophia, and they, they, they kind of do. <laughs> all right, now, um, all right. Silver, okay, 25. Now, Silver Lake's a bit weird. This one is 26, yep. And then uh, that's Bernard's is down there. And then it goes to 20. Okay, that, yeah, see, and then we run out. And that's, t we don't want to leave town. Now, this is, Silver Lake's really weird. It's got this section here where Bernard's is. And it kind of continues on with the numbering. See, there's 28. And then we got 20, 31 is Bernard's. And then you keep going down. And it's like it's not actually on Silver Lake, but it is. And then we got 32. So we've got to go a little further. It's weird, right? Like, it's like Silver Lake, but not Silver Lake. 39. And what do we got here? Uh, okay, no, no. Oh, I'll bet you anything. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be down here. This place. Okay, now we're going to be 41 and uh, 43. Perfect. So this is it cool oh it's really lovely let's see. now this she is a significant player so let's look around and see if we can find any uh any information any is there anything here that might be of interest other than the fact that sophia might be watching us Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay so now all right let's see and aha nice we made it. <laughs> okay, now Wanda. Okay, let's take a look. Wanda is, uh, what is she? She's a retired maid and Derek's mom. So, okay, all right. Let's, uh, let's do this. No keys. Okay. We got an upstairs to think about. And then this is what, a kitchen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the kitchen. I, this, let's get some lights going here. That's a, looks like a dimmer. And that lights. We can waste power. <laughs> uh, now, um, <laughs> more lights. <laughs> okay, we got garbage and glasses and a bunch of stuff and some wine and a pot. Um, this all looks kind of ordinary. I mean, we got the preserve thingies and drawers. Probably empty. Hang on. And, uh, uh, nothing, of course. And then we've got cleaning supplies. Normal, normal. Uh, garbage, okay, and, uh, yeah, I don't, oh, no, nothing. Oh, nice teapot, or kettle. And then, <laughs> maze game and adio, that is, that's a popular stuff. Okay, so, nothing, nothing, and then, what do we got here? Ooh, 
That's nice. Look at that. It's a nice ship. It's kind of, oh, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And nothing? Nope. Uh, okay. I, some of the phones don't work, apparently. Some you get a dial tone. Okay, let's take a look. Anything, anything. Me, 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 me. How about no, not that. No, no, no. How about you? No. And no. And uh, uh, no, no, not you either. Okay. Um, geez. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Take a look around. What's this? That's bathroom. Okay. Uh, let's, no. Oh, I guess we could close, but nah. Uh, let's turn on the light. And anything in the medicine cabinet? No. And, you know, I never find anything in the bathroom. So we've got a toilet. <laughs> Maybe I should use the bathroom. I don't know. Okay. All right. Nothing. 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 Hmm. Okay. Well, um, oh, we got, to, oh, ah, a, um, a French press. Yes. That is a uh, fine taste in uh, coffee making equipment. Uh, very, very nice. There are many ways of making coffee, and that is uh, one of the better ones. There are other good ones, too. Um. Oh, this, you know what? This reminds me of uh, Bernard's place. Okay, uh, let's turn on the lights. Um, I don't work. All right, never mind. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, everybody seems to have these 14-inch TVs with uh, built-in VHS players. <laughs> I don't know what it's all about. <laughs> all right, so we got a nice fan, got some art. Uh-huh, that's not bad. Yeah, and yeah, okay. Um, got some tapes, apparently. Uh, nothing. Is there anything in there that we can see? Nope. Got a clock. Hmm. That isn't that a bit weird. That's kind of a short little bench. <laughs> okay. And mm -hmm. uh, some vases. Okay. And books. And oh, oh, oh! What? It's got no markings. What the heck is that? I can't open it. Um. Okay. Eh, hang on. Let me just see if I can. Oh, there we go. And what is that? Old, old, old and new London, Walton or something, volume, volume four. All right. Well, we'll take a, take a picture of it, but I can't really do anything with it. Um, I don't see any other markings, no letters, no. All right. <laughs> I don't know. None of these, nothing else. <laughs> uh, it's a bit weird, right? <laughs> Okay, is there anything else? Um, okay. Uh, oh, tea, butterflies. Yeah, had a, yeah, a tea set and butterflies. Okay, that's kind of cool. And I'm just trying to see if I can find any more. No, that, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, nothing. Just that book, the mysterious book that has nothing. Okay, all right. Well, let's not worry about it. Uh, okay, nothing over here. Uh, hmm. It's kind of a, there's not much going on in this room, actually. All right. Okay. So, um, all right. I think we're probably going to have to go upstairs. This really does remind me of Bernard's. There's a study on the right or whatever. Actually, this probably Wanda and Derek's place. So, probably two bedrooms. And this is a bedroom. It looks like Derek's. It's got a telescope. It's got Big Ben. Hmm. Okay. And, uh... <laughs> I'm not really Oh Derek Oh That is uh, Derek's knife Now see that's kind of interesting um, Hang on let me just get a picture And Oh Now No god damn it Okay <laughs> I, I keep doing that Hang on a sec let me see if I can um, Hang on hang on hang on uh, Just a sec Okay, and delete. Yes, there we go. Now, uh, the thing is, okay, there was something about this knife. Hang on, let me take a look. Um, what was it? Um, it was in the corner, no, not that, corner of the, it was the, the corners reports, right? Hang on, where is it? Man, I always have trouble finding the corners reports in the, in here. Um, uh, oh, no, no, this is the uh, undisclosed one. This is uh, Vivian. This isn't it. Okay, no, it was the other one. Uh, that's it, public report. And Andrew Reed, right. Okay, so this is kind of important because um, uh, 
inspection refi- lungs, blah, 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 switchblade or small knife. Aha. So Andrew Reed was killed by a switchblade or a small knife, which is what that describes. So Bernard's knife is a big knife, but I don't know if, what, if that's the thing. So, okay. All right. Anything else? Nothing. Nothing. Got some books, but nothing. Okay. That's right. Okay. Uh, do I want to close that? Um, no. <laughs> I like, because then I know which ones. Come on. Open. There we go. Now I know which ones I've. Yeah, that was. No. All right. I, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Let's just keep moving. But that's interesting. So, um, hmm. and this is a chest. Can I not open the chest? No. No. Nothing. Okay. Um, okay. Nice. Yes. Uh, lovely painting. Um, okay. And a telescope. Oh, no, it doesn't say. Friday, January. Okay, uh, cycling. Scott said he can ride faster than me. Of course, that isn't true. So we had a competition, and Trisha was our referee. We set the goal line to the f- be the fence in front of the river. I was winning until we almost reached the finish line. I braked to prevent myself from crashing into the fence, but Scott didn't brake. He pedaled harder as he approached the goal. I yelled at him to stop, but he did not listen. By the time he crossed the line, it was too late. The brakes did not stop him in time. His bike, oh, <laughs> uh, his bike hit the fence, and he was launched into the, the air, landing on the rocks by the riverbank. I ran to him. There was a blood coming from his head and scratches all over his arms and legs. Trisha came up to him and tended his wounds. She seemed to be sobbing, even though Scott was the one bleeding. I think I am hurting more than him. Oh, see, I see he has a thing for her. He has a thing for Trish. Okay. Wednesday, March 14th, 1990. While cleaning the garage, Charles approached and asked if I would like to be his chauffeur. He said his current driver wants to spend more time uh, with his grandchildren and is planning to retire. I could have, by the end of the week, to decide. Okay, it's a good opportunity. I'd get a raise in salary. I'd get to travel around this country. I think I'd say yes. Oh, okay. Uh, April, um, what is this? I don't know, a couple weeks later. Trisha came today and suggested that we make our very own time capsule before I start my new job. I thought it was a good idea. We buried the box near the big stone in the cemetery. Huh. Before leaving, I made a promise to each other that we would open it uh, up in 10 years. Okay. Well, uh-huh. That's the, that, that's, that's, uh, I, that's, there we go. <laughs> There's a nice clue. We're going to keep that. Okay. So. Oh, oops. Uh, okay, uh, and where were we? we were at? No, no. Uh, September, May, April first. Okay, and then actually, no. We want to go. There we go. All right. So Wednesday, May sixteenth. I had a chance to walk around New York today. As I went into the bookstore, I remembered how much Trisha loved notebooks. There was one that was really cute. It was a bit expensive, but I think she'll like it. I sh- I should surprise her by giving her the notebook on her birthday. Uh, okay. All right. Um, I didn't expect to be traveling this much as a driver. W- on one hand, I miss my mom. On the other hand, I get to stay in nice hotels. I guess it's not that bad a deal. Charles treats me very well. He even gives me extra allowances on these trips. Maybe I'll get something nice for mom next time. Well, you should. You should always get something nice for mom. Okay, what do we got? Uh, September 29th, a couple months later, I think. All right. We went hunting n- near the river. Uh, according to Scott, there's a nest in the drain hole that sometimes has eggs. I told him it might... What? I told him it might be dangerous, but he assured us that it's fine. So off we went. Sure enough, there were eggs. I didn't know what eggs those were and decided to try and stay a little further away. Scott started collecting them when I noticed something moving. Trisha was able to shout out that there was a snake. I stood there, frozen. Oh. Uh, Not knowing what to do, Scott turned and saw the snake. He then spread his arms out and slowly walked backwards. Trisha was behind him. He extended his right hand with a stick towards the snake and slowly placed the bag of eggs on the floor with his left hand. When he reached behind me, uh, he grabbed my arms and said, Run. We, we ran, screaming our lungs out. I think that was the fastest I'd ever run in my life. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, November. Okay. A little bit late. One month later. Um what? Yeah, one month one month later. Okay. Uh, I missed the I missed the old days when it was Trisha, Scott, and myself hunting in the backwoods playing by the lake. Oh yeah, of course. 
It's not that I don't appreciate what Charles has given to us, such as the house we live in and our jobs. I just miss the time when we were young and carefree and would go anywhere and nothing would stop us. I miss Trisha. Well, yeah. Uh, why doesn't she realize that I like her? Oh, man. See, Derek, he does. Wow. Yeah, he likes he likes Trisha. That's the thing, right? So we already know that. Okay. Well, um, all right. So let's see. Um, oh, man. Okay. Is there anything else? Oh, oh, typewriter, typewriter. Oh, does it have a wonky E? I don't think it has a wonky E. It, no, uh, but we're going to record it anyways. All right, hang on. So, and it says, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, dear father, how's everything going, I think? Something like that. Anyway, so is there anything? Did we miss anything? Anything? Any of the books? All right, no, okay, nice big Ben picture. All right, that's fine. And then we got, yep, yeah, and a fan, very lovely. All right, so uh, that is, okay, so that's Derek's room. I think this is probably, oh, a nice vase. Uh, Wanda's room, let's see, we'll check the closet. Okay, and we have, ooh, a diary. So this is Wanda's diary, okay, from 1974. Oh, okay, this is, like, this is uh, around Trisha's birth. Uh, Derek turned four today. Vivian organized a small party for him. I really appreciate what she has done for us. After blowing out the birthday candles, I asked uh, what he wished for. He said, I wish to see Papa. Oh, that's, man, there's something about Dad with Derek. And okay. Uh, I did not know what to say to him. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> uh, I cannot tell him that his father left us. Oh, boy, oh, boy. All right. Uh, August 1974, Vivian is being hospitalized for mental... Okay, so this is um, uh, just after Trisha's birth, right? Yeah. Okay, Dorothy has asked for me to care for Vivian while she remains at the hospital. I wonder how Vivian must be feeling right now, knowing that she is not able to conceive anymore. Magdalene wants a boy to continue the family line. Not being able to have children anymore m will be devastating for Vivian. I pity her. Oh, man. Family stuff. That's just, you know... Uh, 1974. I just can't stand <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> oh, okay, so, all right. Uh, she's not that pretty, but she's barely a year working here, and the others are already serving her hand and foot. Ooh, she's, <laughs> she's just here to take advantage of the Roberts family. I don't trust her. I wish she'd disappear. Oh, man. Wanda does not like Sophia. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, all right, what else we got? So... This is probably, what, a bathroom? Yeah. Okay, so we got nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. I never find anything in the bathrooms here. It's just, yeah. Uh, nice shower. We got some shampoo over there. All right. Okay. No, nothing. Okay. So uh, what do we got? What do we got? Nothing in the garbage can. Nice tea set, a teapot and all that kind of stuff, but I don't think it's all that interesting. And we got a pink bed. Oh, very lovely. Um, and a purse. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. Oh, what's this? It's broken. I need a tool. You know what? I happen to have, uh, I think I have a tool on me. <laughs> Let's use that. Oh, I think it worked. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Uh, City of New Jersey, Department of Child Psych uh, Psychiatric Division, 19, was it? Okay. 1981, evaluation of Derek Tyler. Dear Mrs. Wander. Wow. Okay. So after almost five months of sessions, this is, okay, that's a little odd. So after almost uh, five months of sessions, your son, Derek Tyler, is now much better. We are still unable to get him to talk much, but he has chosen to express his thoughts and feelings through written text, which is a breakthrough for him. Okay. Okay. During his last sessions, however, he wrote the following. Dad was standing in the middle of the road. He was waving to me. Mom was crying and her tears dripping onto my face. I woke up. Okay. Kitty was purring and licking my face. I think she wanted to go out. Mom doesn't like me to make noise when it's late at night, saying it will wake everyone up. So I was very quiet when I opened what? the door. Uh, Kitty flew away. All right. There were noises behind the wall fence. There's a door that's always locked, but there's a light behind the keyhole. I 
I walked to the door and looked through the keyhole. There were four people. Two of them were fighting. A baby was crying, and then one of them fell down and hit her head. She stopped moving. Oh, that is okay. So this is Sophia's murder. Oh, wow. She stopped moving and her eyes were open. I wet my pants because she was looking at me. Holy crap. Uh, Derek has since been very quiet. We haven't been able to grasp fully if what he wrote was real or imaginary. Nevertheless, we are concerned with the situation. Kindly get back to us so we can discuss further. Uh, wow. Oh, my God. So that's traumatizing. <laughs> oh, jeez. That'll mess him up. Okay. January 1981. Okay. Uh, this yeah, the school principal told me that the kids have been calling Derek names, saying he's a bastard child. Oh, God. What a mean kids. I know that Derek wants to know where his father is. I don't know what to say to him. That's tough. Uh, okay, February. Uh, the school called me again and told me that Derek poked a bird's nest and it fell out of the tree after he had stoned the chicks to death. Oh, oh, that's um, okay. This resulted in him being suspended from school for a week. Uh, yeah, so that's not a good sign. Um, <laughs> the principal asked if Derek had suffered any kind of trauma that would cause him to act like that. Well, witnessing Sophia's death, <laughs> I could not tell him that Derek witnessed Sophia being killed. He was only five when that happened. Oh, man, that's rough. Holy. Um, May 81, uh, Derek stopped going to school. He told me school isn't for him. I should not have asked him to keep quiet about Sophia's death. He must have been bottling up his emotions all these years. Maybe it's time I start homeschooling him. Oh, wow. So he, he was homeschooled by Wanda. He didn't, that, whoa, that kid's, that's this whole thing. He's, I don't know, Derek, he seems like a prime candidate right now. Okay, what do, all right, so, nothing, nothing. Okay, yeah, it looks like that's the only thing in here, but wow, I, <laughs> that's it uh what are you gonna do okay so any other little bits and pieces oh nice painting yeah okay oh and now this purse it's quite um purple or brown and i what does that say thank you for your service or i think it's from vivian and it's uh what is that like a gift it looks i don't know it doesn't there's nothing in it i'm not really seeing any Anything, like, is there any key or anything that I could, yeah, it looks like it's empty. So, uh, man, these things are, I'll tell you, it's hard to control this, the the little thingamabobber here. So, all right, well, there we go. So, uh, Vivian gave her a lovely purse. Yeah. <laughs> all right, did we miss anything? I don't think we did. I think we got everything from this room. So, all right. And then we've got, uh, oh, and apparently uh, you cannot get out of the room if the, the <laughs> if the cupboard door is open. Good to know. Nice, Foss. And then what do we got? Uh, nothing. And I think we got everything from uh, here as well. So the knife is kind of the interesting thing in here. Hmm. I don't really know what to, uh, yeah. I'm not seeing anything else. All right. So uh, I think that's it. Yeah, this looks like Bernard's house. Uh, this is, yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, just want to double check and see if there's anything else. Nice painting. Yeah, I don't really see anything else. The clock, I don't know what about, what to do about the clocks. I, <laughs> nothing by the door. <laughs> okay, <coughs> we're going to leave the lights on because, uh, yeah. Um, that's weird. Okay, so here's the door. And there's a bay window, or sort of a bay window. And then we go over here, and there's a window. All right. And we go outside. And isn't it? I think there's something a little bit off about the house. <laughs> Hang on. Let's just take a look. All right. Here we are. And we take a look. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that doesn't match. The, the outside doesn't match the inside. But it is a lovely house. I do love the architecture. This is really cool. All right. So uh, the next thing. Uh, this place freaks me out. I can't. The noise. It's like Sophia. <laughs> I don't know where she is. Oh, all right. So we've got Sophia's locket. 
right? It's got something etched in the back. We've got a code. So we still have to figure out what to do with that. Okay, what is it again? 0, 5, 2, 0, 5, 2, 6. So we still don't know what this is doing. And it's going to be something that has, it's in Sophia's timeline, right? So it has to be something from when Sophia was, uh, was around and associated with her. Now, the other thing is we have a key. We have the bedroom key found it in Dorothy's diary in the hospital room 203. This is, I believe, a key to Dorothy's. Uh, there's a bedroom uh, upstairs in Dorothy's house that was locked. And uh, hang on, i got to figure out. Uh, I think I can get through here. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, garbage pickup needs to be done. So, all right, there is one other thing that we need to do, okay? Uh, yes, hello church. And um, essentially what we need to do is, or what I'd, I would like to do is, I want to find out if Derek is uh, is still alive, if, if he has a headstone here. And, okay, oh, there's the big rock. It's got the time capsule. And, oh, 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 I need a tool. Oh, yeah, so, okay, we need a tool. All right, and, okay, Philip Young, Calvin, uh, okay, no, no, Scott. Victoria, Pamela, Jonathan, Susie, Vivian, Ian, Sarah, Trisha. So, okay, and then we've got Wanda Tyler. Oh, well, Wa and Wanda Tyler, that's, um, that's mom, of course. And we've got the doctor, okay, and uh, Gary Roberts, uh, Raymond. Uh, Roberts, is he related to the Roberts family? Raymond Brown? Mm -hmm. and Christopher Burke and Timothy Sanders and Andrew Reid, of course. We know who Andrew Reid is. And, yeah, so we don't have anything. I don't think there's any. We can't get in there. I don't think that we have. Um, all right. Yeah. So in the cemetery, there is absolutely no indication that Derek died. So as, as far as we can tell, Derek might actually still be alive. In fact, yeah. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I wonder if Derek is the... We've got a new competitor for the, for the bad guy that's currently around. Father Matthew, right? He has, he's been leaving the flowers and all that sort of stuff. But he may not be the only one that's around. So that might be a red herring. And this is what I'm kind of confused about, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... All right, we got to go. And uh, we're going to check out... Uh, we got to check out Dorothy's place. We've got a nice key to the the uh, spare bedroom or the extra bedroom or bedroom, the uh, second floor room, uh, in Dorothy's house. So I'm hoping I'm hoping that we're gonna get first of all, Sophia. I'm always thinking Sophia's watching me. Uh, hello, Sophia. <laughs> All right, so uh, Dorothy's house. Yes, we are at Dorothy's house. And uh, let's see. We should already be unlocked. Excellent. And then I believe, if I remember correctly, um, the it's the bedroom, as I say, bedroom upstairs. So well, what we're going to do is uh, take a look upstairs. And yeah, because there's the bathroom, right? And then there's only a, there's no bedroom. So except for this one, there's no other room. So. Let's give this a shot. Okay. What I'm hoping is that we're going to find some way of getting access to the tools because Dorothy had access uh, to the tools. So uh, if we uh, open this door and maybe we'll find some, I don't know, we'll find something. So let's see. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Got a big cross. Okay. We've got, oh, more another lovely painting. All right. And, oh, what is that? Pendant of Mother Mary. Okay. Uh, there's no writing or anything. So I guess we'll just uh, note this for the future. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's for. Okay. Is there anything else? Oh, what do we got? So nothing. We got a Paines Creek Herald. The daughter of ex-mayor found dead at Paines Creek Community Hospital. Oh, that's Trisha. Trisha Roberts falls 40 feet from the uh, rooftop and lands uh, on her head and dies no indication of murder though hang on so the hospital is now checking to see why the roof door was not locked investigation is still pending regarding trisha's death 
Ooh. Uh, yesterday morning, the body of Tricia Roberts was found on the grounds of Payne's Creek Community Hospital. She was pronounced dead at 7.20 a.m. Okay. So first thing in the morning on December 27th, I'm assuming something around that time, the 27th. All right. So what we need to do... Okay. So... Um, I'd like to, I want to take a look at the register. Come on. Where's the red? <laughs> ah, uh, here's the register. And the last time uh, was, what is it? Uh, the 26th. That's, no, that doesn't look like anybody of interest, though. And that was after her death at 810. Uh, and then the last time Matthew Brooks came by was, uh, what was that? December 6th. Okay. And then before that, uh, we have one, two, two visits, two visits. So three times. Okay. Uh, yesterday morning, the body of Tricia Roberts was found in the grounds of the Payne Street Community Hospital. She was pronounced dead at 7.20 a.m. According to Ms. Thompson, she was starting the morning shift when she heard some sound at the reception area. She went out to find Tricia lying motionless. Uh, okay. Well, uh, blood was flowing out from her head, and she quickly called for Dr. Bennett, the attending physician, for the day's morning shift who brought Trisha to the emergency room at once. Unfortunately, it was too late. The hospital CCTV shows that Trisha Roberts was walking around the hospital at around 6.30 a.m., okay, and headed to the roof at 6.54 a.m. A few minutes later, her body was found at the ground uh, three floors below. Charles Roberts, ex-mayor and father of deceased, uh, and nothing, nothing, nothing. So that's, that's the end of that. But there's a secret entrance to the uh, hospital from the sewer, so the registry doesn't mean anything. Okay, is there anything else here? No, just that, just the newspaper. Uh, okay, and, oh, all right, we got another diary. Friday, October 27th, 95. All right, uh, Scott was released from prison this, prison this morning. Matthew went to pick him up. Uh, there's a lot of tension here in Payne's Creek, no doubt. Most people think of Scott as the murderer. Uh, Charles tried to stop Trisha from seeing Scott, but it's of no use. She was already waiting for him at the cabin. Ooh, man, she's... I, I feel really bad for her. Um, okay, so this is... Uh, Charles is drinking again. Couldn't stop Trisha from trying to see Scott, yet Scott seems to be avoiding her. Okay. Trisha should not have been discharged from the hospital at this point. She still needs help and rehabilitation. Oh, man, I tell you. Uh, Derek and Scott fought at the market today. Derek asked Scott why he's avoiding Trisha. Scott didn't say anything. He just walked away. Derek told them not to come back anymore. Wow. It's sad to see what's happening to them now. They used to be such good friends. Yeah. Oh, my God. Scott was killed, and that's in November of 95. Um, okay, so, and then uh, a little later, what was that? D no, okay, December 2nd. So that's just before Trisha died. Trisha's been going crazy ever since Scott died. She sometimes screams in the middle of the night. Here and there, she'll ask us why Scott hasn't visited her for a while. No one seems to know. <laughs> oh, man, that's really bad. And no one seems to know how to answer without agitating her condition. That's rough. Trisha is finally being admitted to the hospital for another mental breakdown. Charles doesn't know what to do. I've asked for his permission to take care of Trisha at the hospital until she recovers. I think Charles appreciates my help. Well, I imagine I imagine he does. Yeah, I imagine he does. Okay, is there anything? Nothing. Okay. No, no. All right. So, um, what else we got? Uh, let's take a look. Oh, what is that? Okay, we're gonna look at that in a minute. All right. Um, anything interesting? Photo lab cleaning. Oh, she was. She did. Um, she cleaned the photo lab. Every two weeks. Look at that. Okay, so, and then we got a key. Looks like a house key. <laughs> what a coincidence. All right, so we've got a uh, house entrance key. Found it in Dorothy's. All right. A calendar over here and keys over there. And what is this? What is this? Uh, oh, dear Dorothy. Okay, so this is way after. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for all you've done for me. You've taken care of my store on so many occasions. You've helped maintain its bright spirit. I would be lying if I said that I'm not saddened by your departure. I will greatly miss you. I wish you all the best in your new place. Do not 
do invite me. <laughs> do invite me there once you've settled in. Uh, may God be with you. Best regards, Oliver Gibson. So there you go. So yeah, that's right. She moved away. Um, yeah, she moved away for a little bit. Uh, there was a note downstairs. Oh, okay. So we got a Bible. We got you. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, there we go. Yes. Uh, <laughs> big cross. I don't. It means something. Um, okay. And then what do we got here? Uh, we got a closet with books, and that's kind of a weird closet, isn't it? Like it's kind of open on one side. It's got books through and closed with a door on the other. And all right, anything, anything? No, no. And then down here, anything? No. And then we've got Sophia. Okay, so. Um, Gee, I wonder what this could be. This is a Sophia thing. Let's take a look. Uh, we've got our little pendant here, and it's got a code. Uh, 00526. All right. And let's give it a shot. So, okay, 00526. Zero, zero, there we go. Aha! <laughs> Great success. Okay. All right. All right. So, yeah, this is Sophia's lock. It makes sense that her locket would do it. Okay. Now. What do we got? We got sewing stuff, and is there anything else here? No. Okay. Um, okay. We've got a beat up old diary from Sophia Miller. Oh, Sophia's last name was Miller. I don't know if we knew that before. Okay. Uh, August sixth, nineteen seventy four. Oh, right. This is way before. I know some people don't like me. Wanda always picks on me, and Bernard ignores me most of the time. Okay. Well, we knew that. Andrew, well, he's okay as long as I'm not in his garden. Dorothy cares a lot for me, though. I like her. Tom, our security guard, treats me with respect, even though I'm just a housemaid. Vivian and Charles are kind to me. Oh, and Matthew, too. I almost forgot about him. He's been taking care of me forever. Certainly as long as I can remember, I'm a lucky girl. Yeah, they go way back. So, yeah, that's even more. Okay. All right, so um, Matthew talks to me whenever he has time. Sometimes I feel he's trying to escape his chores at the church. I think it's more than that. Uh, we'll talk about everything under the sun, our hopes, dreams, and futures. It reminds me of our days at the orphanage. Aha! And then uh, a little later, December, uh, landing a job here as a maid was the best thing that could have happened to me. However, I never imagined I would be having an affair with a married man, let alone my employer. Oh, boy. Now I'm carrying his child... <laughs> I do face, uh, how do I face Matthew? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. This is a little, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, March 15th, 1975. Uh, yeah, so this is, okay. Um, I received a letter from Matthew today saying that he'll be extending his stay in Indonesia for six more months. That's always been him. He's always had a noble heart wanting to help people everywhere. I miss him, but I'm glad he's decided to extend his stay there. It gives me some time to prepare. How I'll explain my situation to him. I don't know how he'll take it uh, if he just hears the <laughs> truth blurted out once he gets back. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> is she clueless? I, I, does she not know how he felt about her? I don't know. All right. I received a telegram this morning, Matthew wishing me a happy birthday. He told me he had a special birthday present prepared for me. All I need to do is find the clues uh, that he placed in our favorite places. He's waiting for my telegram after I've solved the puzzle. I've actually solved it already, but I don't know what to say to him. What should I do? Oh, wow. So, okay, so she knows how he feels now. Uh, this, this right here, oh, wow. Okay. My baby was born today at 8.20 a.m., and it's a boy. He looks just like Charles. Oh, nice. Dorothy's taking good care of us. She prepares the food and attends to my needs. I'm almost, I am almost feel like I'm her boss. Charles visits me uh, all the time, asking if we need anything else. I told him he didn't have to come so often and to instead focus on his work. As mayor, uh, he must have a lot on his mind. Okay, and this is June 75. Um Charles told me today that his mother, Magdalene, will be arriving in two weeks. She knows about our relationship. She, I feel nervous because she's a strict woman. At the same time, I'm happy because she told Charles to take responsibility for me and my son. Soon, oh, wow. Soon I won't have to be a maid anymore. Uh, okay, Charles has decided to name our child Vincent Roberts. I like that name. What, where does she, what does she think is going to happen? Where does she think Vivian is going to go? Like, what is... the 
I, I really, I'm not really sure I understand where her head is. Okay, well, <laughs> all right, well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, it really confirms what we already knew. So, okay, what do we got in here? We've got uh, Dear, oh, March of 1975. Dear Sophia, how have you been? I hope everyone is treating you well at the mansion. It's been six months since my missionary work started here in Indonesia. Uh, yeah, Indonesia. Life here is hard but meaningful. I thought my life at the orphanage was miserable, but after coming here, I realized I am blessed more than I could ever imagine. I'm supposed to be back in one week's time, but I recently decided that I'll be extending my stay for another six months. I haven't received any letters from you for a while now. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, there's a reason why. <laughs> She's having, well, she's got other things. I hope you are doing well. Uh, remember the time when we were at the orphanage? You said that you don't want to be poor anymore. I think God heard your call and brought you to Payne's Creek. Uh, Charles and Vivian told me that they were glad I introduced you to them. They said you are a hardworking person with a kind heart and that us being related was not the reason they hired you. You got the job on your own. <laughs> You're not related. <laughs> I did not know whether or not to tell them we we're not actually cousins. I feel <laughs> I feel bad for lying to them. I guess I'll have to tell them the truth someday. Having said that, I'm glad that you are in Payne's Creek. We can talk and meet anytime, just like good old days at the orphanage. I will do my best here. I hope you can wait for me. Oh, best regards, Matthew Brooks. P.S. I have prepared a special present for your birthday. Uh, wait for my telegram that day. Oh, what a mess. Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, is there anything else in here? Uh, let's see. We've got the letter. We've got that. We've got the diary. And, okay. Well, sewing stuff. And <laughs> I don't know if we could pick anything else up. Not anything here. All right. Well, <sighs> this is, I don't know what to say about this. This is, you know... <laughs> It's as I said before. It's like she didn't really understand how he felt. What what is this? It, it very it's very confusing until she got, of course, the the letter or the puzzle and all of that. So I don't know. All right, is there anything else? Do we have? Do we miss anything? Um, okay, we got uh, we got the diary. We got the pendant. I think we're good. I think that's pretty well it. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, all right now. What's next? The next thing is that we have a key. We have a key that is to the Photoshop. So uh, this is what <laughs> I, I tell you. I've been waiting for that thing forever. And okay, Sophia. I don't. Is she there? <laughs> Every time I come out of a building, I'm like, ah, looking around. <laughs> That girl, she makes me nervous sometimes. I know she's supposed to be on my side. Well, I don't know that she's supposed to be on my side. But anyways, okay. Oh, man. As this, yeah, those chimney pots, they do, they do kind of look like people, don't they? All right. So anyways, I think it's down this way, if I remember correctly. Um, what is that? Clover? Okay. So, yeah. Um, no... This is Silver Lake. Okay, yeah, no, we have to go up. We were down one uh, street too far. It's up on the left here. But um, anyway, so we've got a key. This is the photography shop here. Well, sort of. It's actually around the corner. And here we are. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's hope this key works. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for. Yes! Aha! Awesome. That's, that is, oh, man. I've been waiting to get in this place for I don't know how long. Okay, what do we got? We got some art bitsy things. We got, well, we got nothing. Okay, and a painting. Um, okay, okay. That's um, all right. And locked. Okay, we can't get in there. And we should probably get some lights. Go. Oh my God, those those things are noisy. Yeah, listen to that. Okay, turn on all the lights. We're we're not worried about power here. <laughs> Okay, so, um, right, let's take a look. Um, easel, chair, nothing. Uh, okay, and well, it's kind of an interesting picture. All right. Oh, he's a photographer, not an art, not an, a painter. But uh, all right, and what we got? We got nothing. What is? 
Oh, that's just a hole. Okay. Uh, another outlet. <laughs> uh, nice buzz. And nothing, nothing. Okay. And I don't think we can... Yeah, we can't get in there. Um, oh. Well, this is kind of cool. And let's take a look. That's a nice coat rack. A stapler. <laughs> and, oh, what's this? What's this? Okay. Office of Church Haven, 59, oh, New Jersey. Uh, dear Oliver Gibson, we regret to hear that Father Matthew will not be joining the part of the all oh, the religious gathering from July 18th till the 23rd in uh, th South York. We received Father Matthew's memo yesterday stating that he was not feeling well. I assume he has also informed you about this last minute change. Please send him our regards. We wish him a swift recovery so he may serve the people of Paines Creek soon. Ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha! That's it. That's the alibi broken. <laughs> there we go. We found it. So it's not something that we had before, but okay. Let's just leave those open so that we know where it is and we know what we searched. Oh, we got another bathroom. There's always a bathroom. Anything behind the door? Uh, no. No. There's... Okay. So... Um, nothing. Okay. Never find anything in there. Let's get some light. Um, all right. So what do we got over here? Um, can't open it. Can open that one. And there's, oh, oh, hang on. All right. We can't open that. We can. There's nothing in that one. And we've got ourselves a diary. Okay. I'm assuming Oliver's diary. Very nice. Look at this. All right. Uh, okay. So this is, oh, this is much later. This is after everything happened. In fact, this is this is after Trisha's death. So, because she died in December, yeah. See the uh, Trisha's funeral this morning. So this is this is much after uh, Trisha's death. Uh, everybody's basically almost everybody's dead at this point. Charles tried to be strong, but by the end of the ceremony, his face was wet. Dorothy cried her heart out. It truly pains the soul to witness so many pains. The Truly pains the soul to witness so many deaths occur here in Payne's Creek. Every one of those deaths wa was of a person I knew, and some were very close to me. Among them, Vivian's death shocked me the most. Despite what the media said, I will not for even a moment believe that Scott killed her. I just, it just doesn't make sense to me. Trisha's death hurt the most, probably because I spent the last few years mentoring her. She was smart, kind, and very talented. Oh yeah, they got along. Uh, she was turning into a very promising young woman. With her passing, Charles was, has lost all his family members. He's all alone. I can't imagine the pain he is going through. Uh, August of 96. Dorothy left Payne's Creek early February, a month after Trisha's funeral. The hospital closed shortly after, but by the end of the month, Charles had packed and departed Payne's Creek for good. Wanda passed away March 12, 96. Her cancer... Her cancer had spread too far and too deep. The doctors could not save her. Two weeks after the funeral, Derek moved out of Payne's Creek. Oh, so he actually is still alive. He moved out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Autumn is approaching. My photography store will be closing by the end of the month. I have many things to say, but there's no one left to confide, it, confide in. Anyways, I've been thinking of retiring for quite a while now. Maybe the time has come. Oh, Derek is still alive. We have a uh, second really great con uh, suspect. <laughs> All right. Well, so this is uh, basically, I th yeah, I think this is a good place to stop right here in Oliver's photography studio. And I think, uh, yeah, thank you very much, everyone. Lots to think about. Uh, until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>